All right. So graphs are great, and, and they allow you to interpret the results, and they're good. But sometimes you still need a single number, right? When you're tuning algorithms, you need a number that tells you how well you're doing. Uh, your tuning script cannot look at the graph and decide how well it's doing. So what is that number? Um, the most commonly used number is something called mean average precision. So mean average precision, it's, um, it's the average of precision values at the ranks where you have relevant documents. Uh, and actually, so the mean in the mean average precision comes from averaging over a bunch of different queries. And the average precision itself, it's called AP, that is the average of precisions in a single ranking. So uh, it's an interesting measure. It's not precision. Don't confuse it with precision. It's a very different thing. Precision looks at a single cutoff point, at a single threshold in the ranking. Average precision looks at the entire ranking and assigns a quality number to it. So it wants, it, it looks at the entire ranking, right? So it's, it sort of mimics a user who's looking for all the relevant documents, right? Uh, but at the same time, the way it averages, it assigns a lot more weight to, to things that happen at the beginning of the ranking, at the top of the ranking, than to things that happen at the bottom. Specifically, what happens at rank one is twice as important as what happens at rank two. So getting a relevant document at rank one is twice as important as getting a relevant document at rank two, as far as uh, average precision is concerned. So once you compute the average precision, you just average it, and then across a bunch of queries. Usually use arithmetic average. Uh, there is a variant called GMAP, that's geometric map. Here you take average precision values as before, and you just average them geometrically. So multiply them together and take the root, uh, take the nth root. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, what this does is this, this really penalizes, this makes sure that you perform reasonably well on every <coughs> query. So even if you have one query where you're performing badly, your map would be a high number, but your GMAP would really drop because that number re is really hurting the, uh, the product. Okay. So here's an example for how you compute the average precision. We have two rankings, right? This ranking has five relevant documents. So these are the recall and precision values at each rank, same way that we calculated them before. Now, let's look at the average precision for query one. So the average precision is you look at the ranks where you have relevant documents and you compute the, you take the precisions there and you average them. So you had a relevant document at rank one, so you had a precision of one, relevant document at rank three, precision point, uh, two thirds, at rank one, two, three, four, six, you had a precision of uh, 0.5, and then at the last two ranks you had precision of 0.44 and 0.5. So you add all of them up and divide by the number of relevant documents by the number of ranks that contain the relevant documents. So that's five in this case. So the average precision for query one is 0.62. For query two, you do the same thing as 0.44. And then the way you construct a map, mean average precision, is you take the average precision for query one, average precision for query two, and you average them. And that is your map. And that, by the way, is the number that you used in coursework one. So that. Uh, that, that is what TrackEval was computing for you, and that is what you were taking and using to decide uh, which algorithm is better. Question. Why that's bias for the top three? I don't know this one. So uh, the question was, why is it biased towards the top of the ranking? And it, it seems like just a flat average, but we'll look at that in a couple of slides. Okay. So mean average precision, this is basically your go-to metric. Anytime you have a system that generates a ranking, your knee-jerk reaction would be not precision, not recall, not F1, use mean average precision. Right? It's, uh, it, it's a really good metric. It's been, it's, it's been debugged over, over, over several decades. Um, 